Hi, this is Galila, and this is the beginning of a series of the uh, Performance Director HUD. Um, and let's get to it right away. We'll go through all the features in subsequent um, videos, and we will also configure the choreography system movers as well as the group formation system movers to work with the Performance Director HUD. The Performance Director HUD, as uh, you know, you should know if you purchased it, that it will not work without your dancers being stood on a properly configured choreography designer mover or on a mover from the group formation system that is set up to work with the Performance Director HUD. This is not a HUD that you buy for uh, club dancing and it's for stage and for machinima, for modeling, for anywhere where you want precise timing and exact movement and everything all timed. Um, animations uh, you can do with groups. You can set up for different people to do different animations at the same time and you can command all of your props and um, everything on the stage with this HUD. Um, so the first thing is when you open your folder uh, you're going to get clear that search term you're going to get some um, um, I have more in here because I've raised a, a couple but you're going to get some um, video or tech textures with some um, images that will be on the website for you uh, but these are also in your folder so you can look at them quickly like here is a little cheat sheet on animation layering um, and here's one on the HUD controls if you want to know exactly what each button is going to do. I'm going to go through them quickly but you have this and you have um, a little cheat sheet on um, setting up your your choreography movers, what to put in in each one um, and you have an updater and the HUD uh, again I have a couple of them and um, the note card with the directions that has all of the uh, features listed on it and the website. So if you forget and you haven't uh, saved the website as a favorite, uh, you can open that note card and go there. And we have a note card in here called New Features and Changes and sometimes we call this the change log. And what this is, is each time we put out a new version, we put in the change log uh, what the new feature is uh, uh, about it and we usually put an example of what you the command you would want to put in your uh, PD and I'm going to refer to the performance director as PD uh, for now so uh, and we do that a lot when you ask us uh, questions we we call them all by their initials it's just easier and in this change log we'll add the new features we will put um, any uh, caveats like here's a little warning um, and uh, any bug fixes or anything like that so when you get a new version and the new version will be sent automatically when we update um, you just quickly look in that card and you'll know right away what has changed and another thing you get in your folder is a stage marker, which will uh, we already have a video on that, but we're going to be doing that over again. And um, we, where is the updater? You have an updater. Now the updater, you think, well, this is a brand new HUD. Why do I need to update it? But um, it's used for two things. The of course to update your scripts for any older HUDs that you have except that are one point something. If it's 2.0 and above you can update with this updater and anything before that you can't 
uh, simply because the graphics and, and new buttons and everything were added so it won't work with that. But what you do need this for is the HUD itself comes with eight dancer slots and so that means that you can only dance eight people with this. So here's one through eight. So if you wanted to dance um, 12 dancers what you would have to do is res your HUD and res the updater next to it and it's a little guy, it's a little egg guy and he says please res your spot on director HUD next beside me and then click me to upgrade. So then I would click him and choose on the pop-up menu how many dancers and I would want 12 and you can go to 32. So I would push 12 and it would go through, it would put the new script in there and it would make 12 dancer slots and then when it was finished it would tell me I can pick it up and it would also give me a copy of the change log card, the new features and changes card. So let me just take him for now and I'm not going to update um, this. I can actually delete this. When you res your HUD, um, and you might want to, while it's resed, um, you can rename it. So because this is copyable, see every time I drag it out, it's, it's leaving the original and making a copy. So um, I'm wearing the one that I want. I don't really uh, want that one. So I'll just delete it. But I have renamed the one I'm wearing to PD. To, uh, video and that way I know which HUD it is, what dances are in it, what sequences are in it and I can even move this out of this folder into um, you know like my show folder or whatever and so you have to rename it while it's on the ground. So now I want to show you how to put dances in it that are I'm gonna take one that is should be empty. I have another one here that should be empty. Let's see. So that's empty, I believe. So what we're going to do is put some um, animations in there. What comes in it, uh, you see I have the eight dance slots and I have the example note card and you should probably look at this and it will show you, um, that might be one that I changed already, but look at that and it'll give you a quick example of what the card should look like. We also give you a spot on ankle lock six and this is uh, a priority six animation which will keep the ankles locked and this is uh, better to use in the HUD like this and you would put a command in your card saying at ankle lock and we'll show you that in a subsequent video. But it's better to use that than to wear an ankle lock HUD or something like that because what this that ankle lock is going to do is continue to keep locking each time an animation is changed. Where anybody who's ever uh, worn an ankle lock knows that it goes off and on at certain times and you have to relock. This will keep it locked from the start to the end so it, it's easy. So uh, let's put some dances in it. Now I could find my dances and just drag them in one at a time or I could do a, a Z drop on. Uh, Z drop on is pretty cool. I'm gonna just look for um, Bollywood and Bollywood dances are from Aper Animations that are really really cool. I love them and there's a feature from uh, Firestorm, if you've watched the Firestorm um, tutorial videos, which are really, really great. Thank you for that, Firestorm. Um, it, this, this feature is really cool. It is called Z-Drop On. So, you know, a lot of us buy the whole packs um, of the dances, so we've panicked over the years of putting no 
copy dances into our HUDs. Oh my God, please make sure that I drag it into the contents and not into the floor and not off into space. And everybody has gone through that panic at one time or another if you've been dancing for a few years. So this makes it really cool. I'm going to make sure that this Bollywood Romance folder is in the root, means it's right underneath the inventory. It's not inside a folder, inside another folder. It's in the root directory. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the command in chat here called Z drop on. I'm going to tell it Z drop on this from here. And you'll watch what happens. I'm going to copy the keys. And the keys is the number of the HUD, the UID. So I'm going to say Z drop on and control V is pasting that key. Now I'm going to do a space. Let's uh, drag this over a little bit so you can see. And now I'm going to copy the folder name. If I just right click it and say rename, now I have it highlighted. I can do control C to copy make sure the space is after the key and put in control V and now enter and watch the magic it is actually putting the dances in it for me I don't even have to have that selected anymore it's not edited and there they all go nicely neatly quickly you don't have to wait for them to load it just goes automatically and it is like a thing of magic and then it says completed transfer blah 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 now what I can do is rename it from here whatever I want to name it I usually name for the shows and then pick it up and it's amazing they're all in there so I've already done this one over here the same way and you can see all the dancers all the dances um, here and I can scroll through them so let's go through the the HUD uh, buttons really quick I am uh, standing here with my alt uh, Quentina and we are standing on properly configured movers and in the next video we'll show you how to do that but this is just the introduction so um, let's see the first one we have is check and what check does is gives us a list in local chat of who has accepted the invitation as soon as uh, a dancer steps onto the mover they will get a pop-up I'll show you this like uh, Quentin is going to hop off and then hop on and she gets a pop-up and she says yes and now I'm gonna let her hang there for a second not let her say yes for a minute and if I do check now it's going to say that I have accepted and I don't I don't physically accept I am the owner so it just automatically invites me in and lets me accept but her it's it shows that she's on the mover but she has not accepted so what I can do is wake her up a little bit and say re-invite and a re-invite is going to go to anyone who has not accepted yet so she will get a second one so maybe she went AFK or whatever she didn't see that so she will get a second one and now I can go back and anybody who has already accepted will not get a re-invite now I can go back and check and look in chat and it says that she is ready uh, the next thing we have here is uh, pre-cache and pre-cache is what you want to do before shows and you want to go through it a few times and what it does is just goes through the in uh, the animations really really quickly and like split split seconds so while you're backstage and you're uh, standing there waiting for your turn to go you can uh, pre-cache the routine only which means this note card I have loaded and all the animations included in that note card will be pre-cached it's not many I only have a couple 
or I can pre-cache all of these dances and it's a few pages. So watch how fast it's going to go through all of those dances. Wee Fun! So, and there's just the routine. So you want to keep doing that a few times. Uh, I, I do it constantly backstage just because it gives me something to do and um, it also um, caches for the audience as they enter. So not everybody gets there at the same time, so you keep doing it, do it a few times. So here we go to um, the play and the stop button, and uh, we're going to get to those in a little minute. Um, up here we have the lock, the minimize, and the help, and the lock is for um, to lock your HUD on. Um, you have to have RLV enabled in your uh, browser and I know that Firestorm has it and Singularity has it. I'm not sure about uh, the uh, the official Second Life viewer. Um, really, if you're a dancer, I, I recommend uh, Firestorm. Can't recommend them enough. It is the most useful viewer. So, um, if I lock click lock it says your HUD is now locked I can't I can't take it off you'll see that uh, that is gone from my pie chart um, and I can change outfits complete outfits I can um, add things delete things log out log back in and everything and the HUD will still be there um, after you show you don't want to you you want to make sure that that's turned off because you don't want to keep saving outfits with your performance director HUD locked on so I'm just going to unlock it and it'll tell you it's unlocked if I want to minimize it get it out of the way I'll just hit that little thing there and the help button will take you to the spot on website um, here you have two different tabs, the routine, which will have, you can put um, many note cards in here and have different sequences, different routines all set up um, on the different note cards. And then you would just press the button to load that note card and make that note card active. Or you can click the dances and this is useful when you're actually writing a sequence and you want to say, oh, I want to put a different dance here. And you've identified which dances you want to use in your set. So you can just try different ones here. Um, and anybody standing on the mover is going to um, do those dances. And you can scroll through the pages with this. So then down here you have uh, some hotkey buttons and what this does is you can um, configure things to happen that uh, you would have to click manually. So anything in the routine that you do um, is going to do automatically when you press play. But uh, these would be something that you would make do um, that you don't want done automatically like if while you're rehearsing um, you have things that uh, I'm going to show you in a little while that things that uh, turn on but you want to make sure that they're turned off and you want to keep instead of typing in chat command or something like that you'll just assign uh, things for these buttons to do when I press stop I'm gonna it's gonna stop us um, and it will send our movers back to the start position and the start position is where they were when you read note card the, the ring position where the designer ring was but uh, we'll get more into that later and that is about it for the introduction of the HUD I just want to uh, make sure that you know that um, we say this over and over and over again that um, when you create a new note card and I said that you can put several note cards in here you don't want to just uh, go into your inventory and uh, create a new note card you just can't drag that note card into the HUD into any HUD into the movers into whatever because 
just creating a new note card and using it like that it is considered a uh, second life in their infinite wisdom has made it so those note cards are created that can't be read properly by a HUD or by your movers or whatever. You have to actually open it and I would just put start it with at group because that's how you're going to start your note card and save it and then name it to whatever you're going to uh, name it and we'll say uh, PD tutorial 2 now it's a proper note card that can be read by the HUD and now I can drag it over there and actually what I'm gonna do is rename it again once it shows up in there rename it again see how it ended up down there I'm gonna rename it and make it put the asterisk at the top because now my note cards are at the top Again, you need to drag your performance director HUD to the floor to put animations in it. If you uh, want to put note cards in it, you saw me, I was wearing it and was able to drag the note card in. While I'm editing, if I want to edit a note card, um, I don't I can have I don't have to stay in edit mode. You can close edit mode and have the note card open and go ahead and edit that now if I say um, I go ahead and put my groups in I put my animations in I save it and then reload the card and then I can just minimize it so I can keep working with a card up here opening changing saving loading you must load it because if you save it up here it's not going to remember it's not going to know unless you reload it so that's it that's the basic intro for the performance director HUD uh, next will be how to configure for your group formation system and your choreography design system thank you